I have been sick of this problem. I have been sick of this controversy over living wage or minimum wage. And I believe that something is seriously wrong with the heads of many of our leaders. How can anyone who earns 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, not to talk of people who earn 1 million, 2 million, how can they go to sleep in good conscience every day? How can they go to sleep in good conscience and come out to sit down in a boardroom to discuss the sustainability or otherwise of paying 60,000 to the poorest of workers? How can we go to bed and sleep? All those who belong to the elite, who earn two, three, four, five hundred thousand, one million. How can you go to sleep in good conscience? I say, if you still have any conscience, how can you go to sleep in good conscience and come out to be debating? I hear people on TV. I watch people on TV. Experts, economic experts, corporate executives, government officials who are taking home more than a million in a month. And they are there arguing that 60,000 or over will destroy the economy. It's not sustainable. How wicked. You give 60,000 to a poor worker for his, a poor worker who may have a family of two or three or four for his feeding, for his accommodation, for his house rent, for his medical care, for his children's school fees. How wicked. How blind. How can we do that? And we think that God will bless our country. We think that it is by bringing a new national anthem for God to bless our country. How can you commit this crime against humanity? For me, this is a crime against humanity. Because the poor people who cannot afford to buy gari, I'm not saying they will buy, uh, that, that, that they are to buy sardino. I'm saying buy gari, poor people who cannot buy gari, I'm not talking of meat or fish. Poor people are dying because they have no ma money to cure malaria. How can you go to sleep in good conscience? Those of us who belong to the elite. How can we go to sleep with good conscience? And we are debating and we are discussing and we vote 500 million uh, naira to meet and debate about paying 60,000 to the poor. My dear friends, I see this as a new form of apartheid. Nigeria is the mo one of the most unequal societies in the entire world. A society where it's like the animal farm. A society where we have conspicuously rich people. People who are living in conspicuous consumption and others who are in deplorable dehumanizing poverty. If you have somebody in this country that takes home one million naira, I mean one million, I'm not talking of 30 million naira, one million naira in the month, and he can open his mouth to be part of a discussion about the poor getting 60,000 naira. I say anyone who earns up to one million naira in the month should keep his or her mouth shut when he hears them debating about taking 60,000 for the poor. Six, more than 60 years after independence, we are running an apartheid society. This time it's not racial apartheid, it's economic apartheid. We are running an apartheid society of people of conspicuous consumption, flying in private jets around at government expense, people who are riding four, five, six, seven uh, SUVs with pilot vehicles chasing the poor out of the road, and Poor people, you are debating, you are discussing, you are over 60,000 for the poor. You insult the, the poor by saying 30,000, and later you say 48,000, and now you say 60,000, and you pay more than 60,000, you come out with 62,000. You insult poor Nigerians. <clears throat> I say there is hardly any society I know that is as divided as the Nigerian society. And a society that is so divided is just sitting on a keg of gunpowder. I have warned here before that the revenge of the poor is at the corner. The revenge of the poor is at the corner. I am not calling for it, but it will happen as night follows the day. 
Because when you so reduce people, you reduce people to this dehumanizing level. Nature does not allow a situation of uh, uh, islands of affluence amidst a sea of poverty. Nature does not allow it. And let me warn those in the elite. Let me warn those in the tripartite committee of government. Let me warn that it is in the course of nature that when a predator, a predator continues to devour the very resources that the predator needs for his own sustenance, nature will take out the predator in order to have equi equilibrium, in order to have a measure of equilibrium. Nature is about balance, you know. All of nature is about balance. And human beings are part of nature. 